In the second of our Olympics against all odds series, we bring you the story of an Irish gymnast who was once told he would never walk again and has now qualified for the London Olympics. Kieran Bian was wheelchair bound for over a year in childhood after a leg operation went wrong. Lee Wellings has his story. Some of the things Kieran Bean can do on a gymnastics mat defy logic. But the physical problems Kieran has encountered make qualifying for the Olympics more like a miracle. At the age of 10, an operation to remove a benign tumour in his left leg left him with severe and agonising nerve damage. When he got back to walking, he quickly got back to gymnastics. But his next shocking accident came in the gym. This is the high bar, so it's a steel bar. Um, and I mean, I was, I was just doing basic elements. I was just warming up. Um, and I just went from handstand, so handstand at the top. Yeah. And then you come through all the way through the bottom and you go back to handstand. And I just literally just slipped off the bar at the top like that and then come back down and hit my head on the bar. He was left with damage to the brain in the area that controls balance and was back in a wheelchair. His recovery was possible due to a combination of his own determination and his parents. They're the ones that, even though in behind closed doors or behind the, the hospital curtain, that they're in tears and they're, they're really upset, but they're the ones that believed in me and kept coming back to the hospital bed telling me that you can, you can do this. They said he wouldn't walk again, I mean, on two occasions. And for a young child like that, 10 years of age, to be told he wouldn't walk, you know, it must be in the blood. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it must be in his system. Incredibly, he managed to get back to competing. Despite limited movement in his left foot and a lack of muscle in his left leg, his level of performance has progressed to world class and winning competitions on the floor, his favoured discipline. Now he's reached the pinnacle of sporting competition, the Olympic Games, and he's only the second Irish gymnast in history to reach the Games. It's been tough financially as well as physically. Balancing manual labour and practice each day has sometimes been impossible. Kieran lives and trains in England, but now there's enough financial support from Irish Olympic bosses to take some pressure off. Even if winning a medal in London proves too much for Kieran, rarely will an Olympian have achieved so much just by taking part. Lee Wellings, Al Jazeera, Essex, England.